One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, hello, hello, internet world, this is Norma Jo, back again, finally have my wig on. I want to do another bathtub one, that was fun though, but next time I will wear my bikini bottom, because I, things were flashing left and right when I, I, th I really thought that, uh, you know, you wouldn't see anything, like, below here, but the angle of the camera, I guess, was such... Anyway, so where were we last time? Oh yeah, was, <coughs> Jordan ran into the dudes from The Outsiders. Okay, hey Pony, what's like up? We've got a mission from the dawn, Dallas, the one with the white hair, said. I could already guess that by the fact uh, they were there, but he was always all business. What's the, like, objective? There's a madam in Freaktown that ain't paying what she owes. I rolled my eyes. Freak town, like figures. Maybe she has bills to pay. Maybe, you know, hard times, you know. Uh, yeah, and you're driving, said the blonde soda. He walked, I used to, uh, roleplay soda all the time, except I would give him different names, like sugar and stuff like that. Um, but he was basically the same dude. He would flirt with everybody. Um, he walked past me in this slinky, because, okay, because he did, I didn't play his personality from the book at all. But I, I just played like a similar dude, and he was just really flirty and like feline and stuff. Because in the book, fucking um, Pony describes him as being. He's like, "Oh, my brother's so hot," you know. But um, anyway, he he calls a lot. He says a lot of the dudes are hot. I think he says he's like, "Yeah, both my older brothers are hella fine," you know stuff. But Soda seemed to be like the really like pretty one. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, maybe it's POV. Um, he walked past me in this slinky way and took a bat at my snow hat. Yeah, see? See what's going on? It sent shivers up my spine, but not in that nice way, like when a chick with a- Oh yeah, when a chick with a big ass bends down in front of you. <laughs> this was just creepy. Soda was a little bit too cat-like sometimes. Every once in a while, after we finished a job, I could swear I heard him purring. And what kind of guy snatches fish cans out of dumpsters to lick them? Ew! He's gonna cut his tongue and get horrible diseases. That's gross. Well, that's another story. They all piled into my car and rolled the windows down so we wouldn't all be slaughtered by their cigarettes. Ew, God. The cigarettes are so strong. Like, when someone's smoking across the street, it's like they're right next to you. No wonder people were always saying it smelled like smoke in here. Yeah, doesn't Jordan smoke too? I think I remember that. Uh, fuck, what the shit is with all these fucking dogs? Jesus cunt fucking Christ. Are they on fucking strike or something? I turned on the radio to try and drown out Dallas' screaming. It was one of those weird oldie songs. Why is Dallas talking about dogs going on strike? What? What was going on? Oh, right. There is dog- I forgot, yeah, he's just said on the previous page there were 13 dogs laying down in the road. Okay. Uh, okay, one of those weird oldie songs. Trying to make some sense of it all, but I can see it makes sense- Oh, we all know this song, okay. Speaking of dogs. Uh, is it cool to go to sleep on the floor? I don't think I should care anymore. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Oh, I love this song called Pony. You like, you know what I should do instead of just half-assing or quarter-assing these lyrics every time they come up? Because, okay, I wanted to put play the songs when they came up, but then a couple of my videos got fucking copyrighted. Luckily, it's not a copyright strike, because as far as I can see, because I my channel is not monetized. So I think they really don't give a fuck as long as you're not making money. But it's still, like, it puts all this fucking shit on my video and stuff. <clears throat> and when I go to look it up, it has like this fucking like yellow thing on it. It's just, it's just fucking ugly. So it's like, you know what I should do though? Since I can't play the songs in my videos anymore, I should um, just put on my headphones and sing along to them so my timing will be there. But I'll just look like fucking crazy, you know? Or I could play the songs and double speed them, but that's too much fucking work. Um, okay, where was I? Oh, I love this song called Pony. You, like, do? Yeah, it's so cool. It's about a dope fiend. <laughs> it's not, so to said out of nowhere. It's about a gay dude who likes a straight loser who can't get any girls. What? Where the hell did you get that idea? 
Duh, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> yeah, stuck in the middle of society with his drugs. Jeez, haven't you ever heard of a metaphor? It's way too smooth to be about a dope fiend. It's all calm and touchy-feely. Obviously a love song. Haven't you ever heard of tone? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of tone. The music is bubbly to contrast with the words. It's to give the listener an idea of the absurdity the character lives in. <laughs> no, no, you're overthinking this to ridiculous degrees, little brother. Music is to be felt, not analyzed within an inch of its life. Like the feelings that guy has for the chickless loser. <laughs> it's a love song, end of story. <laughs> you're so close-minded. Your mama's close-minded. That's your mama too, dumbass. Shut the fuck up. Where'd you learn to talk like that anyway? From you. Dumbass. Oh, don't make me, he hissed. They grabbed each other by their hair and started a bitch fight in the back seat. Hey, hey. Easy, like, on the seats, I told him. Uh, this car's a piece of crap anyway, Dallas remarked. He'd been quiet since we got past the dogs. I wonder what kind of car Jordan drives in the show. I'll have to look at an episode or something and be like, Oh, is that a Honda? Is that a Toyota? It's gotta be one of those cheap cars, right? Um, it's a four-door. I know that. I remember that. Um, okay, where was I? Uh, Dallas remarks, he'd been quiet since we got past the dogs. I think I got gum stuck on my pants again. Well, Mr. Like can't get a, like, license to save his pathetic life. At least I, like, have a car. You know what? They pro Every time he tries to get a license, they probably just fail him on purpose at the DMV because he has a record. They're like, fuck this guy. I don't give a fuck if he does perfect 200% score. Just fucking fail him. You know? I could totally steal one if I felt like it. I just don't feel like it. Uh-huh. Like, sure. Hey, you felines. Shut the hell up back there. He shouted back at the brothers. They separated and slunk back against the windows. I still say it's about a dope fiend, the redhead muttered. You're nuts, and you're butchering a perfectly good song. Hey, hey, break it up, said Dallas. Besides, you're both wrong. The song's about virgins who don't want anyone to know they're virgins, so they're stuck in the middle of the stuck-up prudes and the total sleazebag hoes. Get it now? <laughs> That's, like, partially from that movie Homeroom, but the rest is not. They just blinked at him and said together, Wow, how come we didn't think of that? Because you don't have the wisdom of a towhead. <laughs> Suddenly there was a red light in front of us. I slammed on the brakes and we screeched to a halt. Act natural, Dallas whispered to me. Huh? Like why? Cops. Where? Right there. I looked up, a I looked up across him. Whew. Don't you hate when you try to yawn and you can't get all the breath in? because I drank coffee. Um, right there. I looked up across him and they were in their cop car right next to us. <laughs> oh, like, duh. One of them was giving me the eye. We all knew that if they searched the car on account of us looking too young and found our instruments of torture, uh, in parentheses, not to mention the booze, we'd be done for. Hey, speaking of instruments of torture in a vehicle, you all should listen to, um... Miami Chronicle, Miami Chronicles, Booby Trap, go to any uh, podcast platform, Spotify, uh, Acast, Apple, whatever, I don't know what you use, look for it. Miami Chronicles, Booby Trap, and that logo is a gun on a chair. Like, just look it up, listen to it, give it a chance. Don't stop listening after the first episode. It gets good. Okay. My plug for my dad's podcast is completed. Okay. Uh, where was I? Uh, okay. It was right about that time that I realized the radio was blasting some rap song, which was going, cop killer, cop killer, always been a cop killer. <laughs> at least it's not fuck the police. I don't think I, I had even heard fuck the police at this point. I switched it off and tried to look natural. They stopped looking at us and started to rock out to some song. It would be funny if it was the same song. We all breathed a sigh of relief. The light turned green and we went our separate ways. Man, did you see how white those guys were? Said Pony Boy. They were hella white. Oh man. This, this thing goes all the way back. Uh, yeah, did you see how they were dancing? They looked like geckos doing the robot, so to add it in. As if he's not fucking white as fuck himself. Uh, haha, like, yeah, white cop losers. 
Suddenly, we all stopped laughing and looked at ourselves. Eh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I pulled up in front of an apartment building and we ran inside. The door was unlocked. Silly people, always so trusting. <laughs> well, not really. It's just that someone keeps leaving a piece of wood lodged on the door. We ran upstairs to the third floor, up to room 008. That's where I used to live! Third floor, number 8, apartment. Mm. Clement and 8th. Yeah, baby. I love that place. That was the best apartment ever. Ambush, Pony screamed, and Dallas kicked open the door. Hey, what right you guys got to just barge in here? What the hell's going on? Who the hell are you? Sucky sucky five dollar. The madam's- oh, this is the madam's place. The madam's dog-faced ladies. Oh my god, that's like Jackie from Famous. Um, the madam's dog-faced ladies protested, but we knew they wouldn't do anything. They were too lazy. <laughs> All they ever did was eat, sleep, and fuck. Dot dot dot. Hey, actually, I wouldn't mind being a dog-faced lady. Where's your mistress? Soda demanded. She's out, and one of, uh, said one of them, and she blew her cigarette smoke at me. More cigarette smoke. God, all these guys are gonna fucking have, like, a fucking black lung. It was so smoky in there already with all the incense they burned, and sheets were hung up over the windows, I guess to make the apartment more dark and sexy. It didn't really work on me. At least it's not like the fucking, uh, room that, um, what's her name had in, uh, taxi driver with like a thousand candles lit. I'm like, this place is gonna fucking burn down. I listened to the commentary and I know uh, Scorsese said he wanted to make it look like a Catholic church. So it's it's just a matter of artistic license, which is great and everything. But you're gonna burn the fucking place down and motherfucking um, um, Harvey is not gonna stop it with his long ass coke nail. Like, 20 years before he will fall in love with Mr. Orange. But anyways, where was I? Um, uh, I guess to make the apartment more dark and sexy, it didn't really work on me. She's at the washers cleaning some linen. Liar. Raise POV. Oh man, what a cliffhanger. When I came to school the next day, I half expected there to be a chick full- a chick flick style riot going on with the pictures Asakawa took and his article plast all over the lockers and walls. Oh, like Mean Girls, okay. Um, but surprisingly, when I walked in, everything was normal. Hey, Ray Ray. Someone- Hey! Ray Ray, just like... Ray Ray. I, I want to call her Raiden Raiden so bad. I just want to call him Ray Ray. And he's also blonde. And he's also an anime character. I feel like this is just go, go, becoming a circle. Um, but I know Raiden is not a, um, random name. I know it has, it's like, some, it has something to do with thunder or lightning or something. Which I know that from Pokemon, because I went on the Poke when I, what is he doing? She was, like, in the bathtub playing with the fucking drain. Um, anyway, I went on Bulbapedia before, and, like, I was looking at all the names, because, you know, like, on that website, they give you all the Pokemon's names in, like, multiple languages, and it's really cool, it's really fun, because, like, you know how Pokemon's names are kind of, like, puns and shit like that? Like, they try to- some of them don't, but a lot of the time they try to still preserve the pun, like- from Japanese, German, and you just see like the different ways that the pun works in these different languages. It's like really fun. So I was looking it up and that's how I learned that Rai, like Raichu, means like thunder or lightning. Or maybe both. I'm not sure. Something having to do with that. Um, so... And then uh, supposedly, well, I'm just basing it all on this website, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, whatever. But, um, but, whatchamacallit, Pikachu is apparently the Pika part is, I might have this backwards, but one of them, I think it's the Pika part, is the sound, it's supposed to be onomatopoeia of static electricity crackling or something like that. Some shit like that, I think. And then the chew part is like the sa like a squeak of a mouse. 
or something. I think that's what it said on the website. It might have it backwards, I'm not sure. But it, may, it seems to make sense. And then, um, yeah. I know Raiden also has something to do with electricity because in, uh, the fucking, the head that wouldn't die. What is it really called? Revengeance or, um, it had another name too. Um, <laughs> I forgot the other name. Anyways. Uh, in that, when Raiden is riding around, running on his stripper heels, uh, electric sparks come off of his feet, which is why I put that in the parody story, the Crash Course story, how when he's, like, strutting down the street on the red light district, like, the electricity's coming off the heels, that, it's from that. So, and then the African president or whatever his name is uh i forgot what country they're in that's the only reason i said africa i'm not one of these dumb asses that thinks africa is a whole country i know it's multiple countries like south america okay don't call me fucking racist call me racist for another reason don't call me racist for that because that would be dumb of me uh i just don't remember what country it was but uh um yeah, he calls him Mr. Lightning Bolt, so I guess that's kind of a translation. That's what I'm assuming. Anyways, whatever. Where was I? Um, okay. Uh, but surprisingly, when I walked in, everything was normal. Hey, Ray Ray. Oh, yeah. Is that, that whole fucking aside was just because he said Ray Ray. Someone tapped me on the shoulder, and I knew before I even turned around that it was Finn. But, oh, yeah. Finn, in case you don't know is from a really, really good book that everybody should read called A Stranger Came Ashore. And it's wrong. I, and I don't think they're in Sweden. I think they're in Norway. But, you know, they're neighbors, at least. At least I'm in the same region of the world. But, um... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it takes place in Norway back in the, in the past. I, I'm pretty sure. It's either just a super rural... Because they talk about, like, sleeping in straw and stuff like that. So it's either it takes place back in history or it's just in a super rural place where people still live, like, down down with the earth and shit like that. Um, but either way, it's that's where I learned about selkies, one of my many obsessions now in life. And it's a great book. Finn Learson is the selkie. He comes ashore and causes a bunch of mayhem to happen. So just read it. Just read it. It's a short book. I read it in, like, sixth grade. It's really good. I want to buy it off the internet and, uh, read it again. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Where was I? Okay, the first thing I noticed about him was that he was holding a pink rose. He handed it to me. What's this for? Rose day. It's a spirit day. Oh my god. Another aside. Uh, this might end the episode. Um... Yeah, we used to have the- I never even fucking heard of this before because, thank god, this never happened in any, any of the schools I went to in real life. I went to six schools in- from kindergarten to twelfth grade. I went to six different schools, and none of the schools ever had Rose Day, to my knowledge, that I experienced. So, um... But I saw this from the roleplay world, as I was talking about in my other video. Some of the high school- high school roleplay wasn't my favorite, but if- it was like number like eight on my list or something of choices, so if nothing else was good that day or that hour whenever I was playing and there was a high school roleplay and I really wanted to play, I would join the high school roleplay. Or if I had a partner who I really wanted to play, because like I said, I was completely addicted. Even if I already had 40 partners, I would take on just as many as I could. So I could fucking play all day. Um, I had so many fucking partners at some points that I would get overwhelmed by their responses because a lot of people would be online at the same time and they would just be like banging in my inbox. And I liked it. I liked having like non-stop messages to reply to. But especially when you're into the roleplay and the replies are like short and sweet, like you're not like sending big fucking long shit, unless you're super lit, but I'll get into that later in another video. But, anyway, um, yeah, 
So, anyways, I turned my, um, I know it's 20 minutes, but I gotta finish this. Anyways, I turned my, I would turn my phone or my iPod, whatever I was using, um, I would turn it on airplane mode so that I would stop getting messages and then I would, like, line up all my messages where they're, like, you know, in the process of being sent, but they can't send because they're not connected to the internet. I would have them all lined up in my outbox, and I would copy them all and put them in my notes in case that they um, got deleted somehow. And then I would turn the airplane mode off, and then they all the messages would go out, and then I would get new messages. And it was like a volley like that. I fucking loved it, but it got overwhelming sometimes. But anyways, the Rose Day thing is like sometimes in high school roleplays, it would be high school roleplay Rose Day. And there's basically just like a bunch of different roses that they all mean different things and you give them to people one and they even have ones for like I hate you and like or like they ha it was more it was mostly like love crush secret crush friend best friend enemy secret enemy frenemy like shit like that you know it was fucking bullshit but anyways